Okay, time for the School of Ridiculous Inventions again. Uh, and this time I'm gonna do a bit of a different episode. <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself a time limit on making something of interesting musical interface using the micro bit and see how far I can get. And uh, that will be the episode. So I have approximately three hours uh, to see what I can make. So the first thing I'll do when analyzing this is what can I do with it? Uh, we have a light sensor in the LED rounds. Uh, we have two buttons. We have the accelerometer XY. You have shake. Uh, you have the built-in speaker in the V2. And uh, if you don't have the V2, you have integration with uh, external interfaces like the servos or, for example, using Scratch. So let's try an uh, exhaustion of possibilities. And then we can see if is there what any of these tracks we'd like to run further with. Now, so the first step is actually looking at what MakeCode uh, shows, examples they have. I have a V2 which has a built-in speaker, but if you don't have that, you can use the pins to actually play music on any of your uh, smartphone headphones or, yeah, just regular headphones and, and try that. Uh, but now I'm going I'm to do some tests on all of this and see what inspires me. After having done some research, I realized I needed to think a bit and uh, because I have such a short time span for thinking, I realized that maybe I could just implement an old idea while I think about what could be interesting to make. So I wanted to make a no ground pad so you don't have to touch anything to ground you to be able to play it. Okay, so my big buttons are done and uh, actually I, I didn't, I forgot to uh, connect ground Let's see. Does the glitch work? No, not now. So what? Oh! Huh. Okay, we have a physical glitch. Did I, when I put my feet to the ground harder, even though it's through a rubber sole. So it's glitchy, but it actually kind of worked. So let's see what the difference is when I actually connect ground to ground. <laughs> I, I, that was fun. I like that. We can probably look into the electronics there. It was just, um, yeah, much better. This is actually my, my old arm uh, control. I modified it slightly to become a physical device so you can actually play on actual items such as this. So, But that beep doesn't help because I don't want the beep. So maybe I should use an old mic bit. Another thing I found was this amazing Scratch guitar using something called Scratch Link, which is a wireless link between Scratch and the microbit. And using our um, uh, robotic inventions for the microbit, you will have power and a snap-in structure to anything with cardboard. So I figured, let's see if I can make a cool interface for the Scratch guitar. Let's start sketching. So I had an idea uh, of making a simple guitar. So some kind of shape like this. Uh, grounded on both sides so you can be ambidextrous uh, some kind of neck on the guitar in the neck I wanted to have the micro bit and uh, then of course three kind of strings for strumming so something like this is my idea. So you hold your hands and this will be a strawberry structure of some kind. Now you see micro bit, structure, cardboard guitar thing. Maybe we can make it the shape more interesting or we just make a very minimalist guitar. So round, ground, zero, one and two. And then the micro bit, and obviously the cables going here.
Okay, so here's the result of this uh, speed build. Some cool and ridiculous inventions. So I made instrument pads. Uh, this is an idea I had that was lying in the back of my head. That's one way of innovating. So like an old idea, just push it out. Uh, then I made a physical interface to hit on actual stuff in the room. It works something like this. Which is really nice. It's not perfect, but it works really well. I'm gonna put a mic on it. And then I made a wireless guitar for the microbit so you can con control your computer wirelessly and play. It has automatic ground and some strings. And I haven't put in any new awesome features, but that's just enhanced in code. So this was an interface speed build, uh, lateral thinking, and hopefully I made something that's okay. Uh, this is about it. Combine it with code, that's what it can make in three hours. So um, let's see what happens when we make music with these. Okay, so it's time for the grand finale of the uh, three hour microbit instrument challenge. I made at least two instruments. These are the two we're going to play today. Uh, and I have two colleagues who are going to join the band, and I will play on these less improvised instruments. So we have uh, in total four instruments here. So uh, welcome, uh, Rasmus first. A round of applause there. And then Andreas. So Rasmus, you will be playing this instrument. So just so everybody knows what, what they do, uh, tap this one first. You hear that? And that one? That one? Yeah, great. And then uh, Andreas, you can demonstrate your instrument. Yeah.